Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pillars of Eternity Beta. And if you continue this video directly after the last one, awesome. You're awesome. Thank you. We're gonna be continuing, like I said. Of course. Oh, we saw someone walking up that way. All right, we're descending back to level one, I assume. Oh, I just quick saved, and I'm quick saving again. I'm stupid. Oh well, doesn't matter. Force of habit, I think. And we can restart the timer. There we go. Beep, beep, beep. You can click directly on the area map to center the camera on that location. Oh, really? That's a great tip. I would have never guessed. Should do more writing later. <sighs> what time is it? Okay. I think half of this video is just me talking to myself. I don't even address the audience anymore, except for in the beginning and the end. Oh, it's another one of them! Hmm, what's going on here? A haze of essence lingers over the body, as faint and ins insubstantial as dust as a dust plume on a rider's wake. Yet as you draw closer, whispered instructions echo in your ears and, in and anticipation warms your blood. In a vision, you see the same stone machine you approached moments ago, but from a different height and angle, as if through different eyes. You heard rumors that some of your brethren were sent here months before, yet you see no sign that anyone has been here. In fact, the cobblestones are covered in a fine layer of dust, dust, ash. You suddenly know what this will cost you, and you are ready. The orders were clear. The effects of the machine in Cleoban Rilag were wearing off. A child had been born not far from Deerford recently, its soul intact. The machine would need to be reactivated. You and your companions take up your positions. You share a final look of information between yourselves. They don't know your name, and you don't know theirs, but you know that you're doing the work of the gods together. None of the rest matters. Two carved bonds or bands of stone in the middle of the machine grind into motion. They rotate in opposite directions, picking up speed until they spin like freshly greased carriage wheels. A wind shrieks through the cavern, accelerating with the stone rings. You press your hands to your ears and grit your teeth against the stone. You're about to shut your eyes when you glimpse new movement. Rows of triangular flaps around the machine open like petals. You don't know what's happening in the machine, but you feel a tingling at your extremities. Extremities, I don't know. Searing pain spreads through your body, a hot knife separating every tissue and ligament within you. All the while, it feels as if you're falling toward the machine, your stomach mashed against your spine. What happens next is too fast to process. You awaken from the vision to find yourself kneeling and gasping for air. Holding your head, you let the tiles between your knees gradually come to, into focus. As you catch your breath, you remember the strange scene you saw outside of Silent Lys. Where several robed figures fell amidst the howling Buick. Looking at the ash scattered across the cavern floor, it is apparent that the leaden key has been doing this, whatever it is, all over Deerwood. As you regain awareness of what's happening around you, you realize that your head is in... Your head is in Helikina's feathered hands. Her golden eyes are peering into your own, as though she's trying to catch a glimpse of activity lurking in the depths. As she she sees your eyes respond. She wobbles your head a little and gives you a light slap. Letting go and stepping back, she regards you with concern. Everything going all right in there? <laughs> yeah, thanks, I guess. Something in the either hums and buzzes through your teeth. We can't activate this or anything, can we? What is it? Well. I guess that's that. I guess we just have to just go inform her what's her face about the rest of this. No enemies here. You hear running water and see a small stream that carves its way into the mountain. Inspect the stream. A shallow bottom flickers and wavers just under the sh the water's edge, but as you look toward the tunnel, the bottom disappears under darkness. From here, it's impossible to tell how deep the stream is. However, a faint light plays along the walls of the tunnel. The echo of rushing water suggests that the tunnel and stream continue for quite some distance. Let's 
still in. You take slow, sloshing steps towards the mouth of the tunnel, holding yourself upright while the current tugs at your legs. The cold water leaves you gasping, and as it rises past your waist, you fight to control your breaths. The stream bed soon drops out from under your feet, and the current pushes you toward the tunnel where, with growing force. Let's swim into it. The current pushes you through the tunnel faster and faster, tugging you downward over your head. The tunnel narrows and drops, leaving only a thin pocket of air. You take a final deep breath before the current drags you into the depths. Rays of light pierce the darkness, but the current is moving too fast now for you to see more than flickering glimpses as you speed by. You keep your hands in front of you and focus on avoiding the jagged rocks that appear suddenly in the darkness, jutting from the walls. A light winks at you up ahead. You're approaching it fast, but it looks to be the mouth of a second, smaller tunnel. You might be able to reach it, but your lungs have started to ache. Try to grab the edge. <clears throat> you wrap your fingers around the rocks lining the tunnel and peer into it. It terminates in a dead end, but something glints among the rocks at the far side. Reaching it would be a challenge for anyone without strong lung, lung capacity. Well, we're going to send Adair because he's got a high constitution. Adair pulls himself into the tunnel, executing deft scissor kicks with the passage arrows. At the end, he finds a skeleton with a handle protruding from its ribs. Adair pulls it free and pushes off from the wall, propelling himself back toward the main tunnel. Swirling and tumbling through the darkness, you at last see a halo of light above, and you swim and kick toward it. At last, your head breaks the surface. You gulp air into your aching lungs and you pull yourself to the edge of the pool. Crawling out of the water, you look at the cavern around you as you massage fe uh, feeling back into your aching, cold, numbed limbs. Fascinating. Where are we? Oh, cool. We're uh, all the way back here. Okay. Did we get something? We did. The Rose of Salt Hollow. Interrupt is very strong. Interrupt. Very high damage. Slow speed. It's morning star. Crow damage. Draining. And fine. Interesting. I wonder if she could use that. She has soldier, which means she's not as good with it, but her accuracy isn't that bad with it. That's a cool looking weapon too, so that's gotta count for something. Drake spell. Flail, one-handed. Yeah. Yeah, we'll let her keep that, because it does crush damage, and we don't have many people who use crush damage. He's slash. Let's see, I am slash, pierce, and crush. He's slash. She's crush. Pierce. Pierce, and pierce, and crush, because this... And everyone else is just using guns. I can also just use gears yes. with my archivist. Of course. Okay. I guess we can uh, exit the place. Let's go out the front at, uh, entrance. It's funny how they're waiting for them to come out, but there's no one here, so... There's literally no point in waiting for them to come out. Because they all died. They are sacrificed themselves. So we're gonna come out the front way and see how these people react because we don't care. Party stash can be used for rolling excess gear when their inventories fill up. Yep. I was watching one of my Baldur's Gate videos and Watching the combat. No. <laughs> and having like no engagement system where you can just run away freely from enemies without getting hit and killed in the process. I just like that idea because it's so frustrating to deal with in this game. It feels like once you have your characters lock in melee fight, you can't do anything about it. Well, you probably can, but it's a huge risk. Anyway, we're just turn as you exit the ruins or face the paint. 
their painted faces betraying shock and anger. You were warned, Estramar. The filer, a young Glenfather, and grabs the horn around his neck and sounds a bellowing call. What? What the? Warriors splash across the stream, their weapons raise, and their painted faces still and stony. You were warned. What? Stupid way, stupid wolf companion. Hey. Easy game. Take that, thank you very much. We'll take that, thank you very much. What is it? And we'll be leaving and yep, that's the uh, statue thing from the uh theater. So that's really neat. This is a cool place, but uh, yeah. I guess we're heading back to first fires, right? Yeah. Let's go report to Lady Webb, and maybe we'll get into Act Three. I don't know what act we're on. I think we're on Act Two. This should level us up, actually. Yeah, we, I've been getting to this point in the game where all the uh, loot and stuff we're getting is just so awesome that I don't know what to use, hey there, like, with the armor. How is it you Aeothasian stay so optimistic? The world has not given your kind much reason to hope. You get to a certain point and you realize you got two options. You can go mad with grief and tear out all your yes. hair and check yourself I'll into the sanitarium. Or you can wait for better days. Well, feathers in my case. But I understand your point. We went to the wrong place. Yeah, we'll just go down this way. It's Breckenbury we want to. Hi! Okay. Everyone back up this way. Okay, you just, yeah, you just go sacrifice yourself because you're way too slow, buddy. I'll knock you out. What the heck? These assassins are just patrolling the streets. They don't even care. I don't understand. How dare you go fight that guy? What? You come over here and use this. <laughs> and I'm knocked down, but whatever. How may I help? That's a good question, buddy. Yeah, we already know. This is this dazes people too. I forgot. <laughs> Just smash him in the face. How much, uh... Oh wow. He actually has quite a bit of accuracy when he's got that hmm? equipped. What? Hi? Why is he going that way? Yes? Who's... Oh, there she is. Yes? What's this do again? Eh, I don't really care. Let's just burn these losers. That's it. Here's a lesson to be taught! Not a lesson to be learned? Lava will be on seek. Hmm? Uh, That's not very helpful. 
Who novice grimoires? Probably not even worth my time, but I'll grab them anyway. Yeah, figured. Anyway, uh, we got some. They had some notes on them. Is it this? Concise but detailed description of you, including your name, your distinguishing features, and everyone you're known to have associated with in your brief time in Deerwood. So, bounty notices. What is it? As you wish. These people are just casually standing around. They don't even care. Breckenbury. Sprickenbury. Some of the people you meet and fight in the world can be taken prisoner and held in your stronghold. Yep, you know that. I wonder how hard the final boss is going to be in this game. It's hard as Servok or. A Renicus? I'm gonna imagine it's more like a Renicus. Yes. Although, those bosses are kind of easy depending on uh, how well you know how to play. I like that, um, my deflection's actually pretty high. Like, ciphers get high deflection, which is nice. Not amazing deflection, but pretty good. Pretty good deflection. Like, what is mine? 50? This is 90, 57. This is higher than mine, but mine is relatively decent. He's got higher deflection because... I don't know really, actually. Well? your search well let's hear it the hidden key is manipulating a group of within machines that span the country it seems to be causing the hollowborn epidemic i had feared they might be involved in widewind's legacy it seemed too extreme even for them oh. how naive i've been so that's the reason there's the hollowborn that makes sense the leaden key's conspiracy is clear now they have used Nguithin technology to engineer Widewind's legacy, and they want people to blame Animancy for it. As we speak, the Duke is holding hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against Animancy. When they finish, he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. I, for one, would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment. Our Duke must hear what you have to say. Unfortunately, the hearings are closed to the public, which makes the Duke inaccessible until they are completed. However, certain groups have been invited to attend. You might get in with one of them if you aren't above a little pandering. Oh, wonderful. There are delegations from the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, and from House Dominel. If you can gain the support of one of those groups, 
That may be your best way in. See what you can arrange. All right. Well, I'm a troublemaker for house to mental. I'm already an ally for the knights, so uh, I think they're my best bet. And so far, I like them enough. So, okay. Yes, I'll take care of it. This is almost like that quest in uh, Baldur's Gate where you have to get an invitation to the uh, palace to stop uh, Saravak and all the uh, what are the changeling things? What are they called? Doppelgangers. I hate those things. Your time is done, primate. <laughs> That's a terrible impression of them. No, oh, I think it's okay. All right. That's probably not how it's gonna go around this time. It would be hilarious if it did. Suddenly there were doppelgangers everywhere trying to, you know, badmouth animancy. You know, that's kind of how that's that's kind of what was going on in Baldur's Gate. They're all trying to badmouth certain things or asking questions to achieve certain thing. What about this? What about that? Blah 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 blah. As you. The Crucible Knights are Raymond Manor, Copper Lane, Stonal. They're in first fires, so stop walking slowly. We'll uh, get there and see if we can just join up and uh, then that'll probably be the end of that this episode. Actually, we'll just stop the episode uh, right after this loading screen. We'll continue in one more part. And that'll be the end of this play session for me. I hope my uploading's going well. Is everything uploaded? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's excellent. Crucible Keep. We're gonna stop by. Alright. So yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.